I've had a huge network in the US anyway because I'm a scientist and I'm well plugged in to the system. And so I thought, why, why would I need to go on another fellowship and meet more people? But EF is completely different because it's about personal change and it's not really about professional change. Um, and it completely changed how I look at things, how I do things, how I approach things. Um, literally, it's gotten me out of the bushes and out into civilization. A friend of mine recently told me, you finally fell out of the tree. You've come down from the trees. Finally. I study elephant social behavior and female elephants form lifelong bonds. They, they act as a herd. And that's what I now consider my Eisenhower fellows, is that we are all, all one herd and, and, and kin for life. And uh, you make the most unlikely alliances and friends. Um, we always tend to go to the type of people you would relate to, you would think. And out of all the fellows over there, the one I made most friends with, I guess the best friend, was someone who was a publisher for a fashion magazine. It was this woman who wore high fashion, knew all the, you know, everything had a brand on it, but she was amazingly fun. And we just got along, the personalities got along. Even though we were completely different spheres and we, we're still really good friends ever since. From the professional side of things, what I went to look at was how countries and regulatory agencies deal with human wildlife conflicts. And the approaches they took. And I went hoping to meet all these people from government and agencies and on how they tackled the issue. And what I found was that they were actually quite behind on the topic. Then we were in Asia and, and with Asian elephants. Um, of course, they don't have elephants in America. They had other animals that have, were creating problems and it's highly politicized. It's, it's politicized here too. Uh, but their approach was still far behind to what we are implementing at policy level here, which is a real eye-opener, because I always thought that was the font of knowledge. And so it was a reverse, where I'm actually sharing information with people now in the US, right? So for example, there's this organization called Save the Elephants, um, and it's Ian Douglas Hamilton, who's this big name in elephant conservation. I am his strategist. Um, because it happened the other way around. Because for somehow the Asian perspective works. Because we are working with China. So instead of having an American go to China, they're sending me instead. Because it's a much softer approach. So you make these connections and new things happen that you never anticipate. Because I, I, I was actually, I went to learn and I ended up teaching. Expect to change. I mean, you have to learn to change. Change is a good thing. I mean, it's not saying you're, that you're in a bad place, that your life as is, is terrible, but expect to change because change is always good. And that's what EF teaches you, is that change is a good thing.